What's happening, Reef Builders? I'm Jake Adams, here at the studio late, not that late, but late enough to film this now as I'm having, I don't even know how to describe it, just a total aquarium religious experience. As you know on the channel, I've been pretty much focused on the corals. There's a lot more corals that you can put into a tank than fish. But uh, obviously you have a fish system. I got plans for some fish display aquariums. And uh, let's just say uh, all my dreams came true in a way. <laughs> this is gonna sound really silly, but I've been uh, working on an arrangement to put together a Madagascar biotope fish biotope and a range of other fish and I sent a wish list to RVS Fish World. In my mind I'm thinking all right well maybe a few, every few months you know some of those fish will show up and I'll quarantine them and take care of them uh, you know a handful at a time. Well they all came in all the fish so imagine if you had a fish wish list and you sent it to the to the fish toy store and instead of getting one gift for being a good boy, <laughs> you got everything you wanted. So uh, yeah, uh, I've got a handful of fish acclimating behind me. And uh, I was totally gonna do like a fish reveal video, but I felt like I wanted to capture this moment when it's raw, because I've just kind of thrown the fish into acclimation. And I haven't got a good look at them yet, so you'll get to see my reaction on some of these fish. So let's see what fish came into the Reef Builder Studio. Before we get started and dive in to see the fish that I've newly acquired, I have to give a huge thank you to Barnett Shutman and RVS Fish World. Their enterprises are providing income, sustainable income to third world communities living at the coral reefs. Um, he's, you know, the force behind the new Papua New Guinea project. And uh, also I want to give a huge thank to uh, Coast Tropicals. Coast Tropicals received the fish and sent them to me right away. I think these fish uh, have been in transit for just like a record low amount of time. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's take a look. And something that I don't do very often, actually if you watch the channel, you know I always save the best for last. But in this case, I'm gonna go straight to the cherry on top because the fish that come after it are just equally as amazing. So, you probably can see it behind me. It's the tiger angelfish. Now if you've been following my uh, exploits in my travel, you might know that uh, several years ago I actually traveled to South Africa to see the species for the first time, uh, a small one in someone's home aquarium, and then uh, actually went diving to, uh, to see a couple of these guys in the wild. And it's just kind of unreal to have one here at the studio. And not only is it a tiger angelfish, it's like the perfect size. It's just really fat and thick and this guy's bold. I almost wonder if he like would eat in the tank. I'm not gonna try that, but uh, here's the, the tiger angelfish being inquisitive and rather calm. I turned off all the air stones uh, just for the video. But here, here is a giant tank load of fish. A lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of Madagascar species. Uh, so you might have noticed actually the water's a little bit bluish. That's uh, a sedative that's put into the water to prevent the fish from uh, breeding too much and helps them calm down. So uh, I'm gonna get a lens filter over here and uh, let's see what the fish are in here. Alrighty, now that's a little bit more like it. I am totally gonna do this like uh, importer style. Try to gently handle a fish, bring them up to the surface for inspection. So this is actually a fish I think I did not request, but a beautiful, beautiful Lunatus wrasse. 
big studly nail. It's got that, uh, that black lyre tail and big, big bull dorsal fin. Let's see if we can get a side angle on him. Look at that fish, man. That's gonna be, oh, there he is. There he is. That's gonna be a showy fish. All right, that's one. Okay, what else do we have? We've got this crazy, also a Filipino fish. A nice, nice super male pintail fairy wrasses. Now when I started vlogging, these things were unobtainium. They were a thousand dollars a piece because the people didn't really know where they came from. And uh, RVS Fish World just uh, kind of found the honey pot and they've uh, provided these readily to the aquarium hobby for a while. Oh my God, look at the colors on that guy. Just a beautiful, beautiful specimen. But anyway, now you can actually find those at your local fish store. Uh, what else do we have? He's, this guy is probably gonna be a little bit more frisky. Okay, so this is the new Chrysiptera damselfish from Madagascar. Um, I think it's being called the Corazon. It's a Spanish for heart damselfish. Uh, totally new species. It's unlike anything we've ever seen before. He does not want to be handled. We'll get another look at those another time. What else do we have? We have a gem tang, a gem tang or four, several gem tangs. Gonna fulfill my dream of not just having one gem tang, but of having a little school. These will be great, great for the biotope. Look at that beautiful specimen. Not too big, not too small. Ready to acclimate to aquarium life. Let's see if we can uh, rustle up a few more fishes gently, gently. So purple tangs, uh, I, this is one of the first like exotic fish that I ever got my hands on. So I love me a good old Red Sea purple tang, just a beautiful fish. And uh, you don't often see the spots and stripes, they're there, but it takes special lighting to really bring them out. And I know he's not the purple purple like the one we saw at Reef Palooza the other week, but that bright yellow tail is their namesake. Um, what else? So I did get a token Ibali angelfish as well because uh, I've never had one and it's always been just kind of one of my favorites. So this one is also collected in Madagascar so I can have a whole Madagascar biotope. There you are, buddy. I got you in the water. You're good. You're good. Yeah, just a nice classic fish. So even though I love a tiger angelfish, Ibali angel, um, just knowing this one came from Madagascar is super duper cool. Very nice. Let's see if we can get a closer look at this regal angelfish. Probably not gonna handle him too much. Oh my God, this guy's perfect size. Bright yellow, lots of blue. Look at those colors. Look at that big boy. All right, that's enough for you. That's enough for you. So for those of you already uh, keyboard warrioring in the comments, just want you to know I'm a trained professional and I'm handling these fish very, very, very delicately. And um, this is not what you expect right here. Let's get it a little bit closer. This is not, this is not a yellow tang. This is a yellow scopus tang from the Philippines. It's got some beautiful markings on the side that yellow tangs don't have. And a little tiny bit of duskiness um, towards the head. But yeah, yellow tangs don't really occur in the Philippines, maybe some of the outer islands, but yeah, this is a yellow scopus tang. Look at that bad boy, never had one of these. You can tell I love angelfish and I love surgeon fish. All right, I think there's one more kind of explosive, Ooh, relax there buddy, relax. One more explosive surprise. This is unobtainium right here. Until a year ago, until one year ago, this was a fish that, that only a few pictures existed of it. The half-banded flasher wrasse. Super nice. I, you know what? Actually, I've never owned personally any species of flasher wrasse. Now it's a big studly male there. You can see the stripes only go down halfway and those fins, man. Oh my God, I cannot wait to get this guy. Super happy. And he's got a lot of girls. <laughs> we sent a lot of girls so we can put together a nice little harem. Nice little harem for these fish. There we go. Wow, man, do I have some fish fodder to, uh, to work with, both for making amazing aquariums, to condition these fish, and just give you some videos on some of these exotic fish. As you can see, I still got uh, love for the Tomney tangs, the purple tangs, 
uh, yellow scopus, the Ibelai angelfish, so it's not all uh, the bling bling for me when it comes to fish. Um, but these are super excellent. Um, the one fish that did not come in, which I was the most worried about, was actually Madagascar clownfish. Because wild clownfish love to come down with clownfish disease, aka okay, Brooklynella. And I have a tank full of uh, captive bred the clownfish that are totally clean, so I was like, kind of wondering what I was gonna do with them. But they're the only ones that didn't show up, and I was kind of relieved that they didn't show up. So, uh, so man, I really got a big, a huge shout out to uh, Coast Tropicals for handling this fish on behalf of the Reef Builder Studio and RVS Fish World uh, for collecting these fish and uh, also their affiliate companies uh, and all the collectors who, who, who caught these fish. So if any of the collectors are watching, I'm deeply thankful to Madagascar, Djibouti, Philippines, and wherever else these fish came from. So um, I'm gonna do my best with all these fish. I think I have the skills to make them all happy and alive, but with this many fish, Oh man, it's almost uh, kind of a hoop dream for nothing to go wrong with any of them. So I'm gonna do my best. We're gonna give these fish a lot of love. We're gonna feed them real good and give them a nice calm environment to condition them for a long time before they go into any other tanks, let them, you know, kind of acclimate to aquarium life. So, man, thanks you guys for tuning in and sharing in this uh, crazy rare fish experience here at the studio. Before I even opened these boxes, I knew that this was gonna be probably the most exotic package, bundle, delivery of fish that I would probably ever receive and open for myself. Like I could get a shipment that was as good as this, but I don't think you could blow it away. Corals has always unlimited potential, but with fish, you know a little bit more what you're gonna get. So um, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, thank you to all my wonderful sponsors, Ecotech, Worldwide, Brightwell. Um, without them, you know, I wouldn't have a studio in which to enjoy these amazing, amazing fish. So uh, show them some love, show me some love, hit me up in the comments, and uh, we're just gonna keep, uh, keep this rhythm of putting out a lot of videos for you guys. And uh, now it's time for me to fully acclimate these fish and get them out into their future home. I'll catch you guys on the next one.